Today, I'm gonna to make my version of the McDonald's McRib sandwich. That only comes around once in a while, maybe once a year. I'm gonna make mine anytime I want, and it's gonna be better. But first, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when I create a new video. Like and share this video, it really helps out the channel. Now let's get into the recipe. So I've got probably about a half a rack of baby back ribs. We're gonna to try to do this McDonald's version of the McRib. So I've got some of this St. Louis style baby back ribs, which are the smaller style, kind of meaty. So I try to pick the, the meatiest part. So I'm just gonna lay those out. And again, this is about half a rack. We're gonna make about two sandwiches with this. If we can get more, great. We wanna make sure they're kind of dry. And for the dry seasoning, I'm using this, and you've seen me use this on the channel before. It's a, it's a spicy Italian style sprinkle from Trader Joe's. We're sticking to the Joe theme today. Trader Joe's, make Joe McRib. Come on, everyday Joe. You know, we're sticking to a theme. So, so I'm gonna get as much on here as I can. I, I know it's a little spicy, but uh, we're gonna pressure cook this first. Get some on the back side. I mean, back side's not that important right now, but we'll get some on there anyway. Just to try to add any flavor we can before we get the barbecue sauce on. Okay. I'm not going super heavy on it, just uh, because there's gonna be plenty of flavoring coming from this. This is very spicy, like I said. So we're gonna have a little spice, a little sweetness from the barbecue sauce. I'm going to take these, uh, these baby back ribs, and I'm just going to lay them, try to get the, the top side up, the meaty side up uh, in this basket. And this is the Ninja Foodi Air Crisp basket. So in the Ninja Foodi pot here, I have two cups of water. We need some liquid, obviously, for the pressure cooking to happen. And I'm going to throw some of this liquid smoke applewood flavoring in the water so it'll kind of infuse into the ribs. So maybe a couple of tablespoons in there. We get our ribs in here. Put the lid on, lock it in place, power on, hit the pressure cook on high for 20 minutes. You wanna make sure the valve is closed at the top and then we'll hit the start. And I'll bring you back when it's done and we can get into the air fryer section. So now that it's done, we're just gonna divert the steam. I got this little diverter tube here. So we're just gonna release the steam. So I use this little tube here to help divert the steam so the steam doesn't hit my cabinets. As you can see, you just pushed all the steam out to the side. We're just waiting for the pin to drop here. So the pin just dropped. We're gonna open up the top here. You wanna make sure you point it away so the steam goes away from your face. And let's take a look, you can see bone just comes right off here. It's just about done. We're gonna cook it for an additional uh, 10 or 15 minutes with the air fryer. So Gonna close, close the top, turn it on, turn it on, go to air crisp, 400, for about another 10 minutes. All right, so now we're done air crisping the Mick ribs or the Joe's version of Mick rib. So I haven't added the barbecue sauce yet. We're gonna do that in just a second. We're gonna let these things just kind of hang out for a little bit. You see that came out with a nice little crust on it. So just gonna put that on a dish and we're gonna let them just relax for a few minutes. Look at those, those are beautiful. So I let the ribs sit until they cool off a little bit because I'm gonna be trimming those off and getting some barbecue sauce on them. Now you can do that while you're air frying, that's fine, it'll just bake in. Uh, I wanted to wait because I wanted a little bit more sauce on it, I wanted it more saucy, not so dry. So. Uh, let's uh, let's try to pull the the rib bones off so we can make our so we can make our sandwiches. First of all, let's see if the bones come out. I mean, 
can you say fall off the bone? I mean, just peels right off. I mean, very, very little work. Okay. And just pulls right out. Can't get easier than this. All right, that's, that's a nice piece for a sandwich now. And this last piece. Okay, let's pull this one off. This is a little bit thicker of a piece, so we wanna make sure we cook it all the way through, which we did. I mean, 20 minutes in the, in the pressure cooker and 10 minutes in the air fryer is plenty of time for these ribs. So I'm just gonna cut that because these are still kind of warm here. Okay, we wanna make sure we get all the bones out. We don't want anybody biting into bones. So I've already toasted the bread a little bit. I put a, I sprayed it with a little bit of uh, garlic oil and air fried them just to get a little bit of a crust on it. Uh, not too much, I didn't want them fully toasted. And I've got my Stubbs Hickory Bourbon Legendary Barbecue Sauce here. And I mixed in a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's version of the uh, original barbecue sauce just to give it some extra flavoring. So now what we're gonna do is make sure we have good size, okay? Good size for the for the bread, and I mean you can trim it off if you want. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as is. So let's get this off to the side, and we're just gonna give it a nice dip in the old barbecue pool. Get that. So we got plenty of sauce here. We don't have to do much to the bread. All right. So let's get that on the bread. Let's. Give it another little twist here. All right. And we're just gonna get that right on the bread like that. All right, that's one. And I'm gonna make two today. So let's take this piece right here. Again, you wanna make sure, whoop, there's a bone in there. That would've went to the wife. All right, so just get a nice little dip in there. Get it all nicely coated. All right, get that on the bread. Now you can add more if you want. I, I don't want to overdo it. I think, I think it's plenty of flavor. Now on the uh, McDonald's McRibs version, they, they add uh, just a sauce and some pickles. So I'm gonna add the pickle anyway, because I like, I like the, the vinegar, it actually breaks up some of the sweetness. So this, this is just a kosher dill. All right, we're just gonna wipe off some of the excess there, right on the top. Again, wipe off. So this one here is gonna go right on the top here, like that. And for an added bonus, I'm also adding some of these crispy uh, fried onion rings, of uh, fried onions. So we're gonna add some of this to the top here too. Gives it a little crunch, a little something extra. Okay, get some of those on there. Okay, get this nice big one in there. All right, a few more here, a few more here. And it's okay if they run down into the sauce because they're just gonna stick to it anyway. I'm gonna get just a little bit of sauce on here because like I said, this is toasted. So we just get a little bit of the barbecue sauce on the bread. All right, and Get it right on here and, oh, do you hear that? Nice crunch crispiness of the onions and the bread. Hmm, can't wait to dig into this one. Get a little bit of sauce on this one too. And again, over the top. Oh, so let's cut into it and take a look what it looks like on the inside here. So I'm gonna go a little bit in a bias here just to, Make it look fancy and all, you know? All right. Big reveal. Whoa, come on. This don't look like no McRib. This don't look like no McRib. Does that look like a McRib to you? This is a McJoe McRib. Oh, man. 
So let's give this thing a taste now, huh? We, we went through all that trouble to make it, to make it better than Mickey D's, McDonald's McRib. McJoe's McRib. I mean, look at this. I mean, look how juicy that thing is. Can you see it? So I'm going to give it a big bite here. Hmm. Oh yeah, baby. So I hope you enjoyed my version of the McDonald's McRib sandwich, my barbecue rib sandwich, plain and simple. So if you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up, give me some shares, you know, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and that bell icon so you can get notified whenever I make new videos. Check out this video here. This is the uh, Asian style Korean ribs. Uh, those are delicious. I'm sure you're going to love those too. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.